Today on Drawbly, I am drawing Billie Eilish eyes on repeat. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we're self-taught artists documenting our drawing adventures because art's better with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And don't forget to check out our guidebook on daily drawing linked below. Billie Eyelash. Oh, don't even do it. Don't even do it. We've all heard Billy's, it before. Billy's eyelash. Oh my gosh. Are you sure you're not a dad? Because you're really trending into the dad joke territory. Tell me about your Billy Eilish draw. This Pinterest image on the left was from a just a post on Pinterest called Those Ocean Eyes, oh. named after her songs. Oh. And I thought, oh, it's so fun. It's so varied, but it's all Billie Eilish eyes, I believe. The middle one definitely is. When I saw these, I was like, is that by Billie Eilish? Mm -hmm. Like, I knew immediately. Isn't that funny how identifiable she is just from her eyes? I think most people are. That's true. True, but I don't know. I feel like there's more photography I, out there. I've not seen her very much, so maybe she is very, you know, recognizable based on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll set up a test sometime of other celebrity eyes and see who we can identify just from their eyes. Tell me about your eyes, Abby. <laughs> well, I I <laughs> sketched them all first. Uh, you saw the first one I didn't sketch recording. That's just kind of a, a little pressures off sort of style mm -hmm. of drawing where I'm like, fair, eh, fair. I'm just gonna draw and that way if, it, if I don't feel this direction, I can just quit and go a different direction. But I was feeling it, so. These are looking really cool, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you, they were really fun to do. I I've seen a big level up from you recently. I feel like we've both had a, a yeah. level up. It's you that know? slow persistence is really starting to pay off. So those were the sketches. And I love the iterative process. I figured by doing those sketches, I was gonna learn, you know, become more acquainted with the form and dimensions of these little pieces. Smart, smart. So when I go to paint them, I feel like I already have some familiarity, um, and that'll make actually like trying this little paint. So you experiment didn't use easier. your sketches as any kind of guide. I think I did for the last one. I did use the sketches as more of a guide for a little bit. I think that just said your Apple Pencil had like 10% battery remaining. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I live my life. Living on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. I like yeah. it. Thank you. I very intentionally splashed in little pops of bright colors uh, just because I love that. When you see skin painted, it's so fun to see like little dollops of blue or green. And I'm sure there's a whole science into, you know, of course, like, oh, why the blue would go there or the green would go there. But I just kind of guess at what I think it might be and we go from there. Yeah, I there definitely is a science to it and Siri is going to help you find it, apparently. On one side too hot. I don't even remember why it was asking me. It, and it just yeah. stayed there for, and I was looking at it and getting so mad at it, like, go away, go away. <laughs> it keeps coming back. I don't remember. That's I so don't funny. remember. I I wanna say I was talking to somebody and um, like somebody came up to there, chat There was me. a new update that made the iPhone recognize Siri instead of Hey Siri. And I'm sure a lot of people's devices are going crazy now. Mine did initially. It was like every few seconds it'd be like Bidoo! And I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's listening again. So my phone was verifiably listening to me at every moment. Mine, uh, mine didn't have any issues with the updates, but I know yours did. Yeah. Anyway, back to your amazing paintings here. So do you think the sketches that you did first, did those like help a lot or? I think so. Um, I think if nothing else, they were a warm up. And um, other than that, like they just helped me kind of see problems before they arose. Sometimes like the uh, proportion of the nose to the eyes is kind of hard to discern in these pieces. Not saying I actually got it on this one. This one I spent the longest time on. I was probably because it was just, I don't know, the hardest to land with. Um, and it even got to a point partway through where I was ready to just say that's fine and be done. Yeah. But I decided to push on. I, I think following that feeling is often the right decision. Personally. Of, of saying it's time to be done? Yeah. Well, and I usually that typically do. typically means you're not enjoying working on it. But I did get back to a point again where I was enjoying I think I even like took a break and stuff. Because I, I wasn't spending that long on these to mm -hmm. begin with anyway. Um, and there's just been a handful of times where I very intentionally have pushed past that inclination. Yeah, you can definitely get to a point where it's like you get past it and it's better. Yeah, just because I, I've always been somebody who needs to challenge my own mental game. Like with, um, I don't run much, but when I did used to run at various points in my life, I was 
far more limited by my mind than my stamina. Mm-hmm. Like my mind would make me stop running far earlier. But you don't earlier. have that problem with your CrossFit adventures? Uh, I absolutely do have that problem there too. <laughs> oh my gosh, we did um, hand, wall walks today and with shoulder taps and it was, it was brutal, but I won't get into that. CrossFit oh. is brutal and painting is also brutal. And painting is also... <laughs> mentally brutal it is unforgiving yes although sometimes you know you get those happy accidents as good old bob ross likes to say yeah where things yeah. just work out i feel like the happy accidents for me don't really happen in like a piece where i'm trying to refine and get things like a little more correct they're a lot more prevalent in loose flowy sketchy stuff which makes sense but as soon as i go in to do the refining i lose those happy accidents pretty quickly Ooh, a little black and white check i like it yeah. checking those Values. I think this is actually around where I was like, no, I must keep going. Yeah, look, it I actually looks it. great. Look at those values. I'm very impressed. Yeah, so this is where we go from okay to quit to, you know, oh, I'm glad I didn't quit there because it got that much just a little bit better. So let me ask you a question. Okay. Have you started incorporating your lines and your paintings? No. Yeah, I would love to see you do that because I, I love your lines it. and your painting style is so unique as well. I'd love to see you like figure out how to combine those. Two. I would love that too. I love when I see other artists do that. Um, I think I just need to take the time to sit down and study the art process of those artists that do that very well. Like let's Loish. do. Oh, I'll I'll do it with you. Okay. We'll do, we'll do a little quick tutorial. I would love that. Ooh, we can make it into a video. Oh, that would be fun. It'll yeah. be super quick and easy. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> we have all these ideas. I like what you just did there, where you started painting, like throwing paint on that block first and then threw the lines over top. Tell me mm-hmm. about that. Yeah. That was crazy. Well, part of it was just like, oh my gosh, this is out of control. <laughs> I need some boundaries. So I threw the SketchUp on there for a little bit just to see how that would feel. And I th- I don't remember if I ended up turning it back on or not. I think I did leave it off. Um, but... It, it was kind of nice to have as like a little bit of a thing to jump off of. This was my favorite pair of eyes that I did actually, something about it. Like I think that I did the best on the middle one, but these were just maybe the most fun to do because by then I was warmed up and things were flowing a lot more naturally to me. Um, Although it did take me a while. <laughs> are you using a smudge brush there? Are you like blending? Maybe a little here or and there. Or are you just like painting over I think top? a lot of it I'm painting over, but you can definitely see some smudging starting to happen. Are you using now. one of those brushes that has like the pool? Uh, I think it's called like, it's like the watercolor brushes where they like blend better with the paint, where it like smudges the paint. No, this one is definitely more of a hard brush situation mm. until like closer to the end when I start blending a lot more. Um, and then let's see here. Oh. You, you've been doing, so I feel like you haven't been doing as much painting as me throughout our time on Drawbly. Mm-hmm. I think I've had more of an emphasis on painting and you've had more of an emphasis on drawing. Yeah. So I think it's cool to see us swapping on that for one, mm-hmm. with me focusing more on drawing lately and you doing more on painting. Cause it's so, like you can work on one skill and like continue to pull that up and all your other skills will follow Mm -hmm. but it's good to like focus on those weak points as well yeah and for me in particular what i'm trying to hit with this is a lot more of a value study like that area above her eyes trying to make sure that's as dark as i it's it's meant to be maybe emphasizing that a little bit here yeah your colors are really cool yeah i like the i'm a fan of them i like the how the colors turned out on this one i thought that was fun i i love getting to see like There are so many aspects of art styles, like with color choices being just one of those, Mm -hmm. where it's just like, if I painted this in your exact style with your hands, like I, but with like my color choices, they would be completely different. Mm -hmm. And like, that's just one aspect of your decision making. And it's so cool to see that. Yeah, no, it's so crazy. Like the number of different like ways you can study a single image. You can study it by doing a form study, a gesture study, a value study. Like there's all these different ways that you can like analyze A study study. Yeah. Is that anything? Ah, uh, maybe. Study yeah. how to study? <laughs> 
And if you want to study, click that like and subscribe button and check out our guidebook on how to easily draw every day at the link below. Share your artwork on Instagram with hashtag drawbly because drawing is better with friends. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goomba. Have you listened to a lot of Billie, Billie Eilish? Oh, no. Have you listened to a lot of Billie Eilish? Songs? Absolutely not. No. No, I. Love I think music. I could name like one, maybe two. I songs. mean, like I'm not a mega the, fan, but there's I like her stuff. there's uh, the Bad Guy song, mm-hmm. and what's the other really popular one? Ocean Eyes. I don't know that one. Good. That's okay. That's okay. She's there for you when you're ready. So I could name one song. Yeah. Good job. <laughs>